Hi, I'm JB from Huppy, and today I'm going to be helping you assemble your ZRX6 flat cart. I've already put everything out on the table, and I'm going to have the owner's manual handy so I can reference it when I'm assembling the flat cart. The first thing we're going to do is pull out the two bars. They are labeled left and right. These bars are labeled in orientation to the rider. So the left is on the left side of the rider as they would be facing sitting in the cart. And we'll put the right one in. It's usually best to start by putting this end in first and then pulling it out to get it to fit towards the front. We're going to open our bag of hardware and we're going to pull out the larger screws. We're going to use six of those for this process. I'm going to go ahead and put those in place. Just kind of get them lined up. In the front of the cart, you're going to put the screws in the most, in the most forward facing holes, leaving the second holes open. And in the bed of the cart, you'll use screws in all of the holes. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver for this part. So as you begin to try to screw these in, if you notice that you're having difficulty getting it to line up with the holes, you can take the bar back out. And you may need to press the bar together a little bit, put the bar on the ground, and then press down on the bar just a little bit to get it to give. Once you get the bar back in place, when you're screwing in the screws, you should feel the screw immediately grab if it's over the hole where it needs to go. And then once you're sure that the three screws have gotten started, go ahead and screw all of them completely into place. You only need to screw these in wrist tight. And make sure that you don't strip out the plastic. Go ahead and just kind of move everything to make sure it's all tight. Step two is adding the front fairing. We're going to be using the three smaller screws included in the plastic bag. There's one screw in the middle and then two on the outside, one on the left and one on the right. Okay, next we're going to take the steering column fairing and we're going to attach the electrical wires. Push the connectors together and make sure they snap locked. At this time, you can remove the tape. And we're just going to set the fairing in place for right now. I'm going to leave it loose while I put the steering column in place. That way I can put the hardware through the top of the steering column into the steering wheel a little bit easier. And we'll go ahead and put 
the steering column in. You're going to leave the washer in place where it was, but you can remove the tape that was holding it in place. And then we're going to take the hook and have it towards the front of the cart. Then we'll look in there and we'll guide the column through the hole and then put the hook into the slot designed for it. And we'll go ahead and put that back down. We can now feed the steering column through the steering column fairing. I'm actually going to tilt this back on its side for a sec while I'm preparing the steering wheel. You're going to remove the hardware from the steering wheel. Which is a screw and a nut. And while holding the steering column in place, go ahead and attach the electrical connection. Make sure that it clicks in place. And then push the connector into the fairing. You're now going to line up the steering wheel so that the open part of the steering wheel is facing forward. And go ahead and line up the hole in the steering wheel with the hole in the steering column. And use the hardware that you removed. Okay. Go ahead and put the nut on the back side. You're going to press that nut back up into the steering wheel so that it doesn't move holding that in place. Go ahead and tighten the steering wheel to the steering column. At this point now, we can line up this fairing. This fairing is going to use the last two of the larger screws. Those are going to go in the front. So from the front, press everything into place. You can use a screwdriver to push the screw through the metal. And then go ahead and get your screws started. I would leave them just a little loose though, so that you can work on the top and still have a little bit of movement with the plastic. The top of the fairing is held on with the machine screws and nuts provided. Move around the plastic a little bit to get those started. You'll put the Phillips head side down through the fairing. Once again, I'm going to use the screwdriver to push the hardware all the way through. Then I'm going to take the little nut, put it on the end of that screw, hold it in place, turn the screwdriver until it's good and snug. Now you can come back to the front. Just make sure everything is in place. You can kind of press on it, wiggle it if you need to. Go ahead and put those front screws in so that they're snug. So now I'm going to turn the steering wheel and make sure that my wheels move side to side. And they do, so we're good there. Last part of the assembly is putting the seat in place. There are adjustable seat points on the rails. You'll see three holes on each side, and then one hole on each side of the seat. I'm going to go ahead and 
push the hardware through the hole in the seat and line it up with the side that I want it on. So for this last hole, line it up with the last hole on that side and go ahead and use a Phillips head screwdriver and tighten the hardware into place. I like to do this little by little side to side, not putting one all the way in before the other. The charging port for the cart is on the bottom left. The charging instructions are on the bottom of the cart as well. So they tell you in different languages how to charge it. The port is on the inside of the square here. If you need any help, or if you're missing any parts or need replacement parts, check out your owner's manual. The owner's manual does have a detailed listing of all the parts that should be included and will help you find any repair pieces that you might need. There's also detailed instructions on how to put your cart together, so make sure to check that out in case something during this video doesn't really make sense for you, uh, but we're hoping that it does help. Just remember, if you are doing this by yourself, you do want to leave these screws loose on the fairing uh, while you're putting this steering column in place. Otherwise, you would need somebody else to kind of hold it in place and then push down against the fairing at the same time. If you do need any spare parts or something is broke, please contact our customer service department. You can go to huffybikes.com contact or you can call our 1-800 number at 1-800-872-2453. Once again, this is JB from Huffy. I hope this video helps you put your flat cart together. And all you need to do now is go out and have some fun. Thanks for watching.